welcome to our new episode as you might have seen the in the previous video we have consumed get and the and the post api so means for get like we have uh, fetched the api user okay from the json placeholder site just to recap what we have done let me refresh the code so in network tab you can see this is the api which we have consumed users and it is uh, providing us the number of users okay and then on click of add users we have seen like we can post some data i'm just putting a dummy data on click on save you can see 201 is the status we have got so the method was post and this is the object we have sent okay so in response we have just got the one field that is id 11 since we can say like a user has been added okay so up till now we have seen this now next step is edit and the delete so for edit again we have to fetch particular record from the api okay for that the url is let's say this is my constant url after that i have to just provide the id suppose i am providing one so you can see the user one data we have got suppose i am providing two so you can see different record i have got so first when i click on the edit i have to first call this data show it in the form then on click of update i have to use the put service to update the existing record okay and the next thing is the delete so let's check what need, we need to do so if you can see here in the table we don't have edit and delete icon so let's add that we need to add one th here let's name it as action then when we need to add one td in the td we will have two buttons let's add class I'm creating an event edit okay so with this edit we will be passing our user id user dot let's search the property that is id only okay so let's name it as edit let's copy paste this button text let's change the color and this next function will be delete okay so let's check okay so the error we have got like we have used the function here but we haven't created this function in dot ts so let's create that edit is the first then we have to create the delete function so for both the function we are going to need one parameter so let's say param or let's say it is going to be user id so user id same we are going to need for delete so you can see it is not compiled successfully so we have edit and the delete button let's add a space in between them so for uh, second button let's add margin left to so these are the short forms we have from bootstrap so mar ml2 means margin left to okay so same as like padding left padding right pl ml is there okay so on click of edit we need to show this edit form again okay so same the form which we have used for the insert same form we will be using for the edit also so on click of edit what we need to do we need to write again a callback okay so i'm just let's write the code let me zoom a bit zooming okay so in edit what we need to write this dot http client dot again my method will be get only this is my fixed url what we can say endpoint after this just what we have to pass whatever user id i am getting okay that's it after then subscribe 
opening closing then again opening closing to calculate uh, hold down the result let's declare it as any then arrow function okay so on click of edit we are just calling the get api along with the user id once we get the response what we need to do we just need to store the response in this user object whatever the response we are getting we just have to store it in here so result res is the variable name okay and after we got the what we can say result we just need to call this method add user which will just trigger our insert form okay so this is the simple code on edit we will be calling http client then get is the method this is our static endpoint after that dynamic will be user id then uh, after subscribing we will get the response we are storing the response again back to the user object and we are calling the add user method which will enable the form okay so let's check out the code with inspect so on click of edit you can see one api call has been successful we have got the 200 status let's click on the api call so you can see https this is our static point then one then we got the response for current user id one and you can see the same response we have shown in the form because we have the same object binded with the form insert form and we have used the same okay so let's check third record or fourth so you can see fourth id has been passed okay so now on click of save user we can have a different button like uh, this is update right so we are uh, we have the id at the time of insert let's check insert at the time of insert we don't have the id okay so from id we can decide like it is a insert call or the update call okay so we can use the same function which is save user and write a code here if this dot user dot user id let's check if we have declared that no we have not declared so what we need id let's initialize it with zero id if id is equal to zero then we can say like it is an insert call else what we need to do instead of post we just need to use put and the object whole thing will be same okay so let's check our code let's edit a second record let's add some text let's use our username also so on click of save user okay we have got 400 so let's check what we have done let's check the json placeholder site like what kind of data we need for the put put is like okay so with put we need to send the parameter also okay so along with the user slash we have to pass the parameter also in user slash this dot user dot id so now that put call will be successful third record i'm changing just some values and click on save so you can see it is successful the last record okay so this is my endpoint the method was put and 200 is there so it is that record what we, whatever we have object we have sent that is successful so this is the object which we have sent so you can see name and the username we have changed okay so since we are dealing with the mock api the ac actual record won't be modified so you whenever you are calling the get api you will get the same record because that is a mock api when you are working on your actual apis or the actual project you will get your record will be updated okay so this is about edit now the uh, one thing is remaining that is delete so we already have created a function so let's create a function for that delete so for delete we are going to get id let's check what 
is the method like for delete we have we just need to send id okay so again we can use this dot http client dot delete then url so id is this instead of user id we just need to use whatever the id we are getting from the html i think delete we have already created let's remove this then again dot subscribe So on click on delete let's we can show the alert like the user deleted successfully okay let's check this code so first api call for gate and if i click on the delete okay so it is for not poor let's check what it needs so on click of delete list of all resource creating resource updating resource and patching a resource and deleting okay so this is the user id post column one okay we have our api is not correct you can see up to dot com is there after that we have missed the users let's reload again so on click of delete okay so we have got the successful so this is the endpoint and the request method was delete okay so this is the basic things which we need so with this we have we have completed gate api consumption then post then gate with the parameter then update and the delete one so these are the all four necessary api calls and the api call consumption we do in case of the angular okay you don't have to worry about uh, what what the logic is behind there you just need to look for the api endpoint and what object it requires okay so thank you for everyone let's repeat once again what we have done okay so we have just added two more buttons with different function edit and the delete so on click of edit we have just called the record with the uh, clicked user id okay and assign that uh, response we have got to the user object and this user object we already have assigned to the form okay so that that's why the form gets filled up you can see okay after that we have used the same function user uh, save user function like if user id is zero so we have make the post call if user id is present then we have made the put call so put call we need to since uh, from the json uh, placeholder specification we need to pass the id also then the object okay for put request then for delete we just need to use the delete method along with the url okay so that's it so thank you everyone and please like and do subscribe